Hey everybody, Typical Toy Reviews back with another video, and I just got something pretty cool in the mail today. This is the SDCC 2019 Hot Wheels Spider Machine GP7. Pretty sure it's 2019. It could be a 2018 re-release because I saw they released the Thanos Copter, which I thought was 2019, but it was actually from last year. Um, but I'm pretty sure this one is 2019. Um, now, when I first saw this, first of all, I was late. <laughs> I found out about it after I already sold it. Sold? Sold out? After it was already sold out. How about that? Um, it was 15 bucks retail, which, eh, for a metal metal real riders car, they're typically around 450 to to 550. So 15 was kind of steep. But being an SDCC exclusive and it comes in this cool um, box, it's not too bad. Um, but then I think what a lot of people didn't realize was uh, you ha you could order it online, but you had to pick it up at the event. These were not going to be shipped out um, from Mattel. So I'm sure a lot of orders are getting canceled. Uh, maybe they will put it online eventually. I'm not sure if it actually sold out or not. I don't think it was very limited. Um, but I did not get it through the event, obviously, because I did not attend the con. But I did find it on eBay. I won an auction, I think, 16 bucks plus around four shipping. So to my door, I got it for 21 bucks. So for something that was 15 originally and a con exclusive, I think that's all right in my book. It's definitely the most I've ever paid for a Hot Wheel. Um, but this one it was just too neat to pass up. Um, I'm not sure, honestly, on the um, the background behind the vehicle. Um, but as you can see, here's the box. I believe this is Japanese writing. Spider-Man GP7, Marvel Hot Wheels, and he's doing a real cool little logo there. There's the top of the box. It is opened. Um, the side is the Marvel Hot Wheels. The other side, Marvel Hot Wheels. Nothing on the bottom. And then the back, I guess, which gives us a little bit of history here. It is a 164th. I'll show you the car itself in a second. Uh, in 1978, Marvel released a Japanese television show based on Spider-Man. Uh, an alien instilled motocross racer with amazing erecting like abilities become I'm trying to just skip around here, sorry guys. Along with his flying sports car, the Spider Machine GP seven. Um, it has machine guns, missile launchers in the hood, uh, and it's stored in a Marveler spacecraft, and it becomes a key component in the transformation into the giant robot super weapon that Leo Pardon, which is used to defeat Spider Man's biggest, toughest enemies. Yeah, 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 wow. Change Leo Pardon is the TV show theme song. Um, so there, I guess, is a little bit of background. I didn't know that. 1978 Japanese TV show based on Spider-Man. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, but here is the car itself out of the package. It just comes in there just like this. It was sealed. It's just sealed with two little um, those circular tapes. And, uh, this is the, the standard size for um, their like retro premium series lines. It's bigger than a regular Hot Wheels card. Um, I don't have anything else around to compare it with, but um, but it doesn't have a peg hole. But as you can see, it has Spider-Man on the front. It has the car. It's got the Japanese writing. Um, very cool car. It's, like I said, it's all metal body, metal base rubber tires, and it has a little Spider-Man in the driver's seat. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, really interesting. And then it has a really cool, through the clamshell, it's clear. Here, you can uh, see my hand back there. That's really cool. And then the artwork on the back is fantastic, which is um, why I believe they did the clear clamshell, um, because this is a really nice piece of artwork, the Leopardon and Spider-Man. And then you can still see the car through it, so... There's probably some videos up on this already, but I figured since I got it in the mail, it would make a nice video for you guys, something different. I know SDCC is long in the past, at least a month now, or three weeks, or something like that, but again, I just got it in today. I was browsing eBay and, you know, came across what I thought was a pretty good deal, so I went ahead and picked it up. Still on the lookout for those Mario Karts, though. People want, like, 30 bucks for them. I wouldn't want to pay more than 20 for that one either, but um, it is what it is, so... Uh, let me know if you picked up one of these or if you have any more information on it, if they are going to be putting them available online, if there was overstock or not. It doesn't really matter for me because it would probably charge shipping anyway and it would come right around to the same price that I paid. But for other people who couldn't get it, you know, that would be a viable option as well. Uh, but like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more content in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.